And hello, everyone. How are you doing today, Bondi? Uh, some breaking news coming into our area in Michigan here. And I want to bring up our guest, actually, who alerted me of this situation. And you're one of many people who did. DJ will call you. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? Good. So, first of all, um, you are, where are you at? You don't have to say exactly, but what part of Michigan you are in? We are in East Tawas. You're in East Tawas. Okay, it's beautiful <laughs> there. It's probably hot today there, too. I'm it was saying. very hot. Pop-up thunderstorms. Okay, so you and your husband were at home just maybe relaxing or working? or Yeah, he was working, and I was downstairs, and he heard the planes, which is not uncommon. The military jets fly around here a lot, okay. and that's what it sounded like. And he heard an unusual sound of a big boom, and he looked out and saw... A large piece of something hit the water and spark as it hit the water. And that's the picture there to the left of the jet ski. That's the okay. piece of the plane. Wow. So, so it's just floating, <laughs> floating in the water right there. It was floating, yes. How far away was from like were you on the obviously on the shore? How far away was that, do you think, into the water? Mm, how far out? Honey? 200 yards, maybe? 200 feet. 200 feet. Okay. Was there Literally more? Literally right in front of our house. Oh, right in front of your house. Okay. Right. So that, that, that's apparently a few, the fuel tank. That that thing right there. That's my understanding. Okay. Um, so when that happened, though, did you know what it was at the time or no? No, but we were suspicious by the looks of it that it was a piece of a plane. Okay. Which is I'll, what I reported when I called 911. So you immediately, you called, what did you just say? I, I think, what did you say to him? I said something just landed in the water outside the front of our house and it looks to be a piece of a plane. Wow. Okay. Um, and they probably like, okay, we'll get someone out there. Well, then a few minutes later, the, the first responders called me back and asked me if there were any people involved. Oh. And there was not uh, anyone involved at that point that I could tell. And so I told them no. And so, you know, they did, uh, they did come and we ended up with quite a few agencies that were here, you could tell that everyone was being very proficient in what they did, dropped everything they were doing, and came out to ascertain what was going on. Wow, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen, so I'll read it, I'll read it with you. Uh, the Sheriff's Department, and it seems like they're really good on getting the information out. Sometimes you gotta wait for stuff, but they're really good, it seems like. Um, it says here, Iosco County Sheriff's um, two F-16s from the 180th Fighter Squadron in Toledo, Ohio, operating in the area, one of the F-16s declared an emergency and dumped two external fuel tanks uh, full of jet fuel. One of the tanks landed north of Baldwin Resort Road in Lake Huron and exploded. That would be where you are, right? Correct. Okay, that's yours. And then the second one landed in the Baldwin Plaza parking lot, which houses tractor supply, save lot, no injuries on the ground, thank God and only minor damage to a few vehicles. Um, the, the F-16s landed safely in Toledo. And that's important to say, because a yes. lot of people on, online were saying, oh, the planes collided. That's not true. That is not true. There was okay. never a crash at, at all. Wow. Um, have you? I guess it goes to show, um, I was in a car crash yesterday, and I'm kind of oh. sore right now, but you never know what's going to happen on any given never day done. in life. A couple of years ago, we had literally just moved here. We were putting our boat in the water, and we got a call. Our son was a fireman up here at the time, and we heard on the radio, our, our Coast Guard radio, that there was a plane crash where we had literally just come from. So we turned around and went back, and a plane had landed and flipped upside down. Right? They, they got there as soon as the Coast Guard did. It was unbelievable. Wow. So to have um, these two events within five years is kind of strange. Yeah, and literally right on your, right there. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, it goes to show. So I just wanted to have you to, you know, tell people, and I wanted to go on and tell people that no, two planes did not collide. Because um, right. a lot of times the fake information gets out there. And maybe someone who thought it happened, but it's good. I like that the Sheriff's Department put this out right away because that way they can, they get the real information out there right away. I appreciate that. Right, right. Yeah. Um, did they, did someone, they come and like tow that to shore or what they do with it? They, at, at one point we had seven uh, emergency type vehicles in the water. We had two Coast Guard boats, a sheriff boat, 
We had a couple guys from the Tawas dive team and a couple from the Ascoda dive team on jet skis. And they went out and they were able to, the Coast Guard got the piece of the, the fuel tank or what, whatever it's called that they pulled out of the water and took with them to shore. The neighbors reported that they saw something sink. So the Coast Guard has been out trying to find that. And they have it marked with a buoy now to perhaps come back and search again. But it's my understanding that it doesn't sound like it's a big deal if they recover it or not. Well, and it sounds debatable if there really is actually a second piece that did sink. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to bring up, I found it on Facebook here. I don't know if it's showing it. Yeah, there it is. That's the parking lot, I think, of where the other one. You really can't <laughs> see much, but thankfully it didn't hit a human being. Yes. There what is you? another picture what? on that Taos exchange site that does show what looks to be jet fuel all over the parking lot as well. Wow. Because it was I actually mean, a high day. It, it's amazing because it could have easily possibly floated over and hit your house. Thank God. Is well, that, that was our concern. That was rather alarming. <laughs> or hit someone in their vehicle in the parking lot at the store. Yeah, exactly. God was looking Quite out mall there where that store is and so that that was a blessing that it didn't hit anyone okay well i appreciate you taking the time and hopefully the rest of the summer is extremely calm <laughs> a lot more calmer than today yes okay thank you 